Yes. What is up? What is up, Team Diva? I decided, let me show them a no foundation routine powder only, which is something that I do a lot. But not only that, showing you how to use liquid products. I often hear people say all the time that they don't know how to use liquid blush and liquid highlighters. And it is a trick to that. And we're going to get into that. So what I have so far is my brows are already done. This Pixie Hydrate Milky Mist has hydrolonic acid and black oat in it. Black oat oil in it. And it's really good for misting and nourishing the skin before you get started on your makeup if you're a dry skin person. Primer of Choice also has hydrolonic acid in it. This is the one by Lake Louise and we're just going to prime and with this particular powder routine you want a primer that's going to be sticky. You want something that's going to adhere to that powder and not move it off of your face because that's all you're going to have on all day. Now the good thing with powder routines is you can also put your compact in your purse and take a little sponge and dab as the day go along. You know, depending on how long you're so not out. only is my primer on, but it has already dried down to a sticky consistency. And I don't want to keep touching it because it's very sticky. This is where your foundation powders come in handy. I do not like setting my makeup once it's done with a foundation powder. Because you can get too powdery and too cakey, but a foundation powder comes in handy when you just want to do a foundation, a powder, no foundation routine. So, to we're not concealing, we're not doing none of that. So, this black opal powder that I have in medium, this is lighter, this is lighter than me. We're going to place this under here. This is going to serve as where we would put our normal highlighting shade so you see all I'm doing is going under with a lighter powder where I would normally highlight and then a skin tone powder everywhere else so this is a fluffy this is an elf buffing brush which comes in handy um, because you just want to buff that powder on or if you had a sponge you can sponge it on whichever works better for you again I'm just placing this where I would normal where I would normally be highlighted at which is going to be under my eyes a little on the nose and right on the forehead. And this is a good back to school routine too. Um, for my college girls that don't want to get up and do too much. This will work for you So once well. I put my powder on. The black opal oil blocking powder. This is in medium as well. Gives off a nice golden cast. We're going to set that under the eye on top of the powder. Now keep in mind somebody dry may say. That's a lot of powder, but I'm telling you, I'm dry skin about this time, and we're going to melt it all together, and you're going to see just how that works. So look how that gave me that golden under eye glow, as if in I put on highlight, as if in I put on concealer, and then I went back and said with powder, and we didn't. Oh, That's yeah. just all powder. Lashes on. Look how dewy and glowy we look, and that's only with powder. Look. Can't see any large pores, and that's only with powder. So if you're like me, and you have all these setting powders sitting around, and you barely set, that's one way to use your powders and get some use out of them. So I'm going to go in with Dolce Vita, which is my favorite liquid blush by NARS. Um, shake this up well because it does separate. With your liquid blushes, I find out a lot of people say it removes product, it transfers product. Yes, it does. If you go into this with your fingertip like I've seen some people do, it will move your makeup. This, okay. this is so pigmented, a little bit goes a long way. So what I did is I poured some down here on a little mixer that I have and I have this brush right here. I'm going to tap it in the brush. And I'm going to tap it off again. Like how you knock off your excess powder from your eyeshadow. Do the same thing with this because it's so okay. pigmented. The highlighters. I have two kinds. We see these in the store a lot. And some people really don't know how to use them. I included my sister. She used it like lotion. I'm like that's not what that's for. That's a liquid highlighter. But again if you're not careful it can move your product. So the same thing stippling with a brush powder routine 
and my pow and my powder is not moving because I'm a severe glower. I was sitting with these wet and wild halo highlighters and I'm like, what are you gonna do with these glow? And these actually give a nice summer glow and they're lightweight. But look at that natural glow. And that's without a loose highlighter on top of it. But I think y'all, look at this look that we created. Now, outside is hot, so we want to be safe. Guess what we're going to do? Take our big fluffy brush and our Sephora Micro Smooth and just give a swirl and a tap. Even on your cheeks, although you just highlighted and all that. See the highlight's still there. Micro Smooth is just tying it all together. And you still look dewy and glowy. And I thank y'all for rocking with my foundation. No, my no foundation routine using liquid highlighters and blush. See y'all next video. Yes. It's me again. Yeah. And I'm back. TLC. <laughs> on the remix. Ooh.